mean, they're, they don't have a lot of playmakers, so... Tusk mid, of course, Whoa. that was obvious. Yeah, how did you not <laughs> see that or, one? Or is it monkey core and Tusk support? I... <laughs> This this could go a lot of different directions, I feel like, with their draft. Monkey mid? What do you think about this one, Trent? It feels miserable, honestly, as Yopaj. Because, like, I feel like, you know, he... Oh, that was nice. He, he got a, a decent dodge there uh, with the snowball, I believe, on the Dragon Slate, which is pretty cool. But, because, uh, like, he can watch for the stacks and stuff. The courier may go down and does. So Q oh, does get something for too. his trouble. Yeah? Scam? Oh, no, he's, he's, nah, he's going to be fine. Not going to go for the courier, the Q gonna be able oh, to down intercept bottom. the small camp bot lane though savage in trouble fbz he'll go for the chase as savage is out of mana so surely can't get away but fbz is a little bit slower than you'd hope and the wolves they aren't doing quite enough damage though primal spring's gonna come in tims will get it done you chose the wrong friends no very very upsetting here from savage and we'll see well, hopefully tell him to a bit of performance review on savage after this game as we'll queue now <laughs> Gonna get chased down. Skim. Go for a bit of a chase. Power shot though gonna be avoided. And in the meantime, Tim's actually catches out Makoto in the mid lane. So there goes your mid laner. Radiant junglers. He'll be chased around by Hyde, but again, as the Bane, there's only so much you can do if you unless you can land a nice nightmare. It's not in my nature, Tim's is gonna be just fine to stick around and keep haunting Hyde. Seems like he really doesn't want to give that observer ward away. <laughs> Meanwhile, look at Skim. This right behind man. Makoto. Don't know what they can really set up here, but he is stalking him as we speak. Tim's just, just hitting him and then jumping back in the tree. He's just jumping between the two of them. He deserves this, honestly. Like, this is fully warranted. EP. Well, Primal Spring is there. Tim's will have the balance if he wants to throw it out. KP is level six, but he's out of mana. Soul Ring, though, is there just in the nick of time. Oh, KP. He's going to make it. And in fact, he's even going to turn it. Skem might just be dead. And he will be. Oh, that's good. That's so good. The toss up as well. Stun. Run away, Earth Panda. <laughs> he's fine. Meanwhile, mid lane. Yopaj is the one in danger. But KP, he's still on the run. Tim's trying to go for the chase. There's your tree dance. There's your primal spring. But can he get the damage? Balance Keep strike available. Cut. He'll finally get him. <laughs> he tried so hard. You need to run into Yopage. We'll get the shards off. This time, KP, five seconds away from that primal split. Might actually have the time to get it, and they might be able to turn this one, as there is more heroes incoming. There is a snowball out from Yopage, but he's a sitting duck as Jackie is going to get tornadoed up. They'll go right up to the tusk first, take him down, and now Jackie, he's a sitting duck. He does have infest, so he can try for that, and he will do so. The run is on, but the nightmare is there. Hide. We'll hold him down, and eventually... Jackie just has Radiant to die. So Tim's will jump in with a balance, actually saving the day, giving his own life away for this. But they get Jackie out of there. Wow. Is there anything Tim's can't do? I mean, look at mid lane though. They've got Yopage. Fiend Grip is there. They even get a shackle onto Scam right in the back. That's perfect from Q. And another great setup here from Hyde to take down both in the mid lane. And Yopage. Well, he's on that mid task, but it's been a very rough start to begin with. Yeah, and definitely a, uh, <laughs> uh, is someone who's like really being feared right now and, and so highly respected by their opponents. Like Boom, I someone who obviously just like won a pretty huge you. land not that long ago, proved they could beat quite literally anyone at the major going 1-1 versus everyone. And then only lost to the major champions. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that the kind true. of play they need, right? Well, Hyde goes down. Nice start here for Boom. Mid T1 tower is slowly dropping, but Talon, they're going to rotate. Try to defend this one. It's an important tower to lose. FBZ, though, going to keep going at it. Savage, he's around. With the Aegis up, he should feel confident to try and force this fight. Tims is around as well, but KP, he's going to go for the primal split out, trying to chase down Skem. Though Skem is on his way out of there. With the Inkswell, he'll try to survive a little bit longer, but the power shot is going to land from Q. Talon, that'll be enough for them. KP will try to get his way out, but they've got the Earth Panda trapped up with the stun out. They should have enough to get the Brewmaster down, and they will. In fact, Tims, he's still watching Q, trying to find a bit more. Power shot, though, right? He's like, like running out of shapeshifts or something, so. I don't know, I'm looking forward to see uh, how fast the wolf is inside of the, uh, the Gale Force here. But on top of that, the Battle Fury will be up soon for 23 Savage. We just got the BKB done for the Lena, so they're powering up right now, but they're dropping some heroes. Yeah, Makoto, he's trying to fight. 
There's three heroes around, but he is posturing very aggressively here on this leader. It's not going to work out in his favor. In fact, boom, they are sticking around, but Savage has joined in as well. Skem, he'll be scouted out. Power shot won't land. Makoto won't be able to land a stun either. So Skem's going to be fine. Instead, in the backside, they found another support. And Q is going to drop. So boom. What's Not wanting to go against the cause right now. We'll make a run for it. But here comes FBZ from the backside. Right onto that leader, Makoto. He is going to get soul binded up. But he does have the BKB. So for now, he is safe. It's boom. Still looking for a way into this fight. Are going to force it onto Savage. The Aegis is still up though. So he'll lose his first line. But they've got KP around. With the primal split out, Yopaj might just drop here on the tusk, and he will. Not too bad for Talon. That's Boom Esports, moving. they're going to be forced to run. Skim? Hey, he's been caught. Oh, the team's not coming though. KP, you're kind of on your own here, bud. He certainly is, Tims. We'll make the jump in with the Boundless. KP still trying to chase down Skim, but it's going to cost his own life. And he won't oh, even man. get it. I felt that as, a, as an orders and uh, destroy that one. And now they're being smoked up and wrapped Radiant's around on. Under a war. Yeah, hide. Gonna get jumped immediately right under vision of the dire is Yopaj. Already finding one, but Savage gonna move in onto Tim's and they found the task. Yopaj in big trouble. Soulbind out. They've got him stunned up. They've taken him down. Not a bad start at all for Talon. Tim's is gonna be saved by Jackie and FBZ is gonna rush in with the like and wolf form. Trying to chase down Makoto, but he's got no backup right now. He's going to wait for Jackie and Tim's oh, to be nice. ready to fight this one out as the shackle does lock him down. But Makoto is going to get caught by Tim's. FBZ, he's going to go for a run. Skp does go for a bit of a chase, but is it a similar scenario to last time? FBZ does finally get taken down as Kp is still chasing. Onto the Grimstroke they go, the skim. Grimstroke is still fine as Jackie. Now, thinking about Savage... He's going to keep going as Scam does eventually drop to KP. And boom. Well, they seem done with this. Means grip, so you don't want to show up with uh, none of your allies and suddenly get gripped there. And oh, Yopaj blinks in. He oh, does boy. manage to That's bottle it one. in time, but I think he's dead. Yeah, they've got the Fiend's grip up. Surely they can't save him and they won't be able to. The Boundless not going to land. And so suddenly Talon once again in the lead in terms of these players before. Jump in, Tims. He's got an orchid up now. They're on to the Savage Ursa. They've got him. In fact, it looks like as they do take him down, Savage, he wasn't expecting the orchid so early on on a possible Monkey King of all things. His hide is being chased down and should eventually just die. They have not finished him off yet. FBZ, he'll eventually go for the chase, but no detection. Literally no detection. They are trying and they will eventually get him. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, primal split right now, right? Just because like they are very mobile on the dire side, but the gale force has been a helpful part of that. Like he gets a couple units inside, they can't escape, so KB feels comfortable going for the split, but they're not able to sync it up into any sort of a uh, a shackle shot after. And now uh, Yopaj, like, very confident with the infest inside. Yeah, he's running right in. Snowball though is gonna go back towards the neutrals, and he'll just blink right back out. Gale force gonna hold him down, but a nice shards will block the way for Talon as well. It's all about the Roshan now, and the Skem, he'll get some vision down around that Roshan pit, but it's immediately going to be denied off here by Hyde, as Savage is going to make the jump in. Sa Skem is already gone. The Shard's not helping out, but now they can move in onto the Earth. So Savage, he does not have two lives right now. He's going to get taken down eventually. The Nightmare and Fiend's Grip buying a bit of time, but not quite enough. They've got Savage on the Ursa. Makoto, he's going to keep trying to go for this fight, but it's not looking great for him. Luckily, the Shards will not connect. So Makoto is able to run out, but boom. They want to chase for a bit more. Illusion. Can they find anything, though? Yopaj, he's in. Onto KP, the Nightmare. Gonna buy a second of time, but surely not enough as they will silence him up into the Boundless Strike. Ooh, nice Light one. Strike Array is gonna stop them, but is it enough? KP, another Primal Spit out. He's gonna turn this one. Tim's is gone on the Monkey, and now boom. They're gonna back their way out. It's not a safe team fight, or is it? Yopaj, he'll find Hyde. In stylish fashion, as now KP's on the run. Classic SCA team fight happening here. As Jackie is gonna back off for Q. Is back in. They got the tornado out. Onto the. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a wind out. warning. <laughs> it's just, such a stupid ability. So they jump in. Yo, Parch is there. Wukong's command out, Tim's, he might drop the Makoto, going right to work, but FBZ, he does find Hyde. They'll even lose Q on the Wind Ranger. Hyde by his back. Roshan still going. 
Boom. He'll get back onto it. In goes KP, but the silence is there. They'll take it off him. Roshan's still going. Savage needs to find a way to jump in. He might just, but no Jackie. He's got the Aegis and the Shards up. Everything taken by Boom. And they're ready in triangle once again, knowing that Talon are around that area. Savage gonna try and blink away, hide. Might be the one who has, to, who has to cop the gank here, but Savage is going around the long way as Tims is gonna make the jump in. They've got Jackie infested. They're gonna try for the fight though. Savage onto Tims trying to go for the Monkey King, but the Wukong's command is gonna be there. The Ursa finally gets it done. Now a Fiend's Grip onto Yopage. They've got the Tusk trapped up, but can he get a snowball off in time? He'll go for the Walrus Punch instead and go for a run. He might just make it and does for now, but Savage is gonna chase him down and take him out. Two down for the price of nothing. Skem, he will be able to get away, but it's a great team fight here for Talon. It In really fact, is an FPZ. Yeah, he should get out of here, though. Uh, I can't believe that has been nerfed, by the way. Like, all this time, and that's still a thing. Kind of ridiculous. And speaking of the devil, KP, he's going to be spotted out now, but Savage, he's the one to jump in. They've got FPZ locked down with a Fiend's Grip. Snowball was not there in time by Yopaj. And now the chase is on. Yopaj forced the BKB up and tried to run away, even with the Ink Swatter help out. They are still chasing him down on the Tusk. Instead, they do find Skem on the Grimstroke. And sadly for Skem, they have detection. Hide, he was ready for it. I, I hated it. Oh, I, it was, it was, so, it, it was bad. Because all the other actually items do? were just better. I mean, I'm not going to disagree. It was a poor purchase. <laughs> But it was fine. <laughs> FBZ, he'll pop the wolf form. Savage, though, getting a bash off. And now the Shackles Q landing on the smallest tree on the map. Is going to take down FBZ. Because now Skem is being chased down. They'll find another. Oh, Talon. Maybe finding the aggression they needed. Even if they had the vision for this. But uh, clearly they are not going to be close enough to do anything about this in time. Well, certainly not. Roshan's going to go down for free. And as is tradition, double damage room will spawn right after Roshan. So Savage mm -hmm. can't play around it at all. Very problematic. Oh, top lane, Yopage. He snowboard right in. He gets bashed immediately. Yopage in big trouble. He's going to walrus punch and walk away. The Abyssal Blade really coming in clutch there for Savage. But it oh, right, see, that's gonna Savage. Happen, right, guys? It may. Savage. Snowball is there. There's your kickback into the tier 4 towers. Maybe you're right, Trent. They'll get going. Soulbind holds the Ursa down with the shards out, but the Nightmare is going to buy a bit of time for Savage to get out with the Aegis intact. And they are onto the mid racks once again here, Talon. Take him again. We'll try again with the kick back onto Makoto, but this time with the BKB, he should be okay, but no, the shards are going to block him in. They do not get the mid racks. And now they'll chase for more here, boom. Trying to catch somebody else out. Savage, he actually got FBZ somehow, and I believe that was out down a bot lane. And FBZ in the meantime got the bot racks. Oh, once that axe comes out, there's no value. High, high ground is meaningless. You might as well just go up like 70k. Let them leave the base. KP? Going in by himself. Q, though, does show up onto Tim, so they're going to try and do this 2v4. Can they get it done, though? Q, in a bit of danger as Jackie now can get right to work and takes down the Wind Ranger. Everybody on Boom surviving. No problems. And keep in mind, Trent, you've got the MKB up on Jackie now. Kind of ridiculous, that is for sure. I mean, this is why KP loves the hero so much right now. And well, speaking of KP, going to make the jump in. Tim's makes the jump out, though, as if BZ. Has popped the wolf form and wants to keep going, but KP is going to pop the primal split and try to force the fight. There's your abyssal blade out. Snowball's not going to save. Yopaj will kick away the Ursa though, so FBZ can run his way out. But now the Soulbind holding a couple down, and Yopaj has been caught out by the Fiend's Grip. He will drop. Tims does at least find hide, but it's going to cost his own life. Three down, four boom. Jackie, he's been left alone here. FBZ has run off, and now the bash comes out. He's got no way out of this. Jackie's going to drop. Savage takes him down. Four down for Boom. And I think it only costs them. All right, if you guys are playing Brew and there's no hotkey, key all your neutral camps. All right, anyway, we'll figure that out after. Yeah, KP might need the tip right now. It's KP. Yeah. Going to go for a bit more. Fiend's grip. Oh, they caught Yopaj again. No way to cancel it. Hide. Setting up a perfect team fight. And now Savage is in. FBZ's gone. Yopaj down without buyback. They're on a Jackie. They'd love the lifestealer, but instead they'll settle for Skem. KP's still haunting this lifestealer as we speak. But it's a 5v2 situation. 
Tier 4 tower is going to be under siege. It's going to be a very tough defense now for Boom. He goes the Brewmaster KP. He can hold them back easily. Jackie, he's going to have to get to work onto these Brewlings. Does get the Storm Panda. Savage will get to work onto the Life Sealer. Jackie going to try and fight back, but it's a hard team fight. Savage with the BKB just going to keep going. Now the engine exposed. Boom. What can they actually do to force this? FBZ is going to jump in, but immediate bash out by Savage. That'll be the Lycan down with no buyback. On a Jackie, they go. They've got the Abyssal Blade out. Jackie's called it. GG. They've had enough. And Talon take game number one of this best of three series against Boom Esports. Can you believe that? That is a tough game to lose, I feel, for Boom. Just like the way that you play this game, especially of just being always on the uh, the aggressive side. Like they're just constantly playing the other side of the river. I, I feel like 80% of this game took place in the Radiant Ancients.